Hello, Shaheen. This is Pam from IIT Workforce. How are you? I'm doing fine, Pam. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Thanks for asking. Um, Shaheen, where are you located? I'm located in Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. How is the weather there? It's pretty nice today. Okay, great. Um, the, I'm in Atlanta and it's just um, raining all morning. So, so uh, Shaheen, are you currently on a project? Yes, um, currently I am working uh, on a healthcare project. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, um, what, so basically, how big is your team? Uh, how big is your team? Uh, we have a uh, two QA tester, four developer, team lead, project manager, and um, uh, in the architect. Okay. What's well, so? What's your role? Are you? Um, are you? So, are you involved in? Um, manual and automation testing or what, what's your role? I am uh, right now working as a QA tester in okay. this project. So well, what my question was basically are you involved in manual testing and automation or is it just uh, automation or is it manual? Uh, I am a manual manual testing, yes. Okay. So um, okay, um, so are you, is it a good time to talk more Shaheen? Yes, yes. Okay, great. So tell me, Shaheen, uh, what's your recent project uh, um, and what do you do in your current project? Uh, my par current project is a healthcare project. It is a web-based application and it is mainly used in hospitals, clinics and doctor's offices and there are many functionalities of this application. Uh, patient can view reports, pay bills, uh, make appointments online and uh, doctors can uh, write prescriptions and when patients go under surgery, admin can submit a claim um, online. So basically you can do everything online, you don't have to go to the hospital. So it to help us to reduce the paperwork. And uh, there are uh, different technologies used in this application such as PHP, JTOE, DreamViewer, Apache Tomcat Server. And uh, we have used version 1 tool to develop and execute test cases. So PUI tool for um, RESTful and SOAP uh, testing used a Jira tool to raise defects and talk to to retrieve data from MySQL database. Okay, so uh, uh, do you, have you uh, have you have any experience with Quality Center? Yes, I have experience uh, with the uh, Quality Center. Um, uh, like uh, in my um, not in this project, but in my previous project, I have uh, um, used uh, this uh, tool. Okay. Uh, could you kind of explain me how, uh, you know, in your other project, what, what was the project like, if you don't mind me? Um, uh, the, my other project was uh, like, uh, it's a um, um, mobile application, uh, so it's like uh, testing, uh, um, um, uh, testing the, uh, if, like a uh, user can uh, log, uh, sign up, registration, do the same activation and uh, then uh, they can uh, view their uh, 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 bills, statements, uh, pay bills and uh, those functionalities. So you have to um, uh, uh, log the defects uh, using the quality center. Okay. Tell me the critical defects you have found in your current project, Shaheen. Uh, in my current project, uh, it's a healthcare project, so we have to submit claim um, uh, uh, when uh, patients go under surgery. So in uh, in, in admin, uh, when admin uh, tries to submit a claim, uh, the application was, um, was accepting invalid CPT code uh, to submit the claim. So CPT code is a current procedural terminology and it is a medical coding, a set of numbers to identify medical procedures and uh, services. So um, I was able to submit the claim and system was um, uh, returning a success message. But when I did um, SQL query, I found out that uh, the um, it, uh, claim was not um, uh, uh, inserted in the database. So what I did, I used um, uh, tail minus f Catalina dot out um, to find the log um, uh, and log the exception and send it to the developer. 
and the, the developer was able to find the defect and uh, he was able to fix it and uh, I retested and found that the default is fixed and closed the defect. Okay, so, did you, so are you working on a Java environment right now? Yes, I am working on uh, uh, Agile uh, methodology okay. and uh, it is uh, an alternative to the traditional management like the sequential waterfall model okay. and uh, it helps us uh, to respond to the changing requirements through incremental rapid uh, and iterative or development known as a sprints. Mm -hmm. And how long is your sprints? Uh, it's uh, two weeks, uh, uh, the duration for each sprint. Okay. So, Shane, how good are you with SQL? Um, uh, SQL, I am, uh, uh, I am, I am um, good with uh, uh, SQL. Uh, so, like, uh, if I want to find out uh, a duplicate name, uh, I will do, do the SQL query, like I will use a duplicate function, uh, group by and the having clause. Uh, for example, I use um, uh, I will uh, uh, select a patient name, count patient um, as duplicate from uh, patient group by patient having count patient name greater than one. So if the count patient name greater than one, uh, that means uh, it's uh, repeated in the table. So I, that way I will group them. And um, uh, so, like, um, I will give you another example. Like, uh, if I want to find out uh, how many reports are attached to an appointment, uh, okay. I will use select appointment ID, count report ID from reports, group by appointment ID. So, uh, so it will uh, return me the count of reports uh, attached to each appointment. Okay, Shine, tell me, uh, can you can you tell me uh, your experience in uh, SQL joins, and uh, if if so, uh, can you give me some example in your current project? Yes, um, uh, so like uh, basically the inner joins returns all the rows where um, there is only one match between two tables. Now, for example, in my healthcare project, diagnosis table and appointment tables has common column appointment ID. And if I want to see the appointments that has um, uh, diagnosis, uh, I will uh, uh, write a query like select all from diagnosis, join appointments uh, on diagnosis dot appointment ID equal to appointments dot appointment ID. So it will return me the result. On the other hand, the outer joint will return the multiplication of all rows um, from the two table. It is called the partition product. So I will uh, do this query like select all from diagnosis, full joint or outer joint appointment 